Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of Chinese EUV and quantum chip. The United States has a very large influence in the chip industry and many top technologies. Suppliers and patents are almost all from the United States. Therefore, the United States frequently adjusts the chip rules according to its own advantages. And this time the United States has joined forces with many countries to upgrade chip rules. According to media reports, the US has reached an agreement with the Netherlands and Japan, and it also wants to cut off all ties between US companies and specific Chinese companies. Chips are a necessity in a modern society and the cornerstone of technological development. Many countries have begun to attach importance to the development of the chip field, from talent reserves to markets, to industrial chain infrastructure, and use various methods to participate in industry competition. A photolithography machine is an important piece of equipment for chip manufacturing. Without a photolithography machine, chips cannot be manufactured. However, the chip industry does not all rely on lithography machines. Depending on the type of chip and the process, the manufacturing equipment used is also different. For example, in the production of quantum chips, the equipment used includes laser kneelers, non-destructive probe stations, etc., coupled with the assistance of another set of QEDA industrial software, can continue to promote the production of quantum chips. In this regard, China has made a key breakthrough. Traditional electronic chips have been developed for decades, and various supporting software and hardware technologies have been perfected, forming a chip industry with an output value of 100 billion US dollars. Many suppliers are competing for layout based on the huge market size, especially the fierce competition of lithography machines. Although there are not many manufacturers that can mass-produce lithography machines, the entry threshold is very high, but the competition is very complicated, basically dominated by ASML, and the rest of Japan's Canon and Nikon occupy the low-end market share and the industrial resources are highly concentrated. In addition, China's Shanghai Microelectronics also produces full machine lithography machines, but mainly dabbles in back-end packaging lithography machine technology. The above is the core structure of the global lithography machine industry. Let alone the market share, it is not easy to master the strength of mass-produced lithography machines. Otherwise, there will not be only four companies focusing on the market. But the lithography machine is not the only one. It is a fact that traditional electronic chips are inseparable from lithography machines, and other quantum chips can get rid of their dependence on lithography machines. Those who are concerned will know that China has broken through the core technology in the key field of quantum chips. The domestic manufacturer Benyuan Quantum has built the first quantum chip production line in China and adopted many self-developed technologies, including non-destructive probe station equipment and so on. It is understood that the function of the non-destructive probe station is to realize the rapid and accurate measurement of the resistance of the qubit, and to distinguish the quality of the quantum chip with almost no loss, so as to find problems and solve them and improve the chip yield rate. If the lithography machine is a necessary equipment for the production of electronic chips, then the non-destructive probe station is also a necessity for the production of quantum chips playing an important role as an industrial mother machine, 
and its value is more important than the lithography machine in the field of quantum chips. Of course, quantum chip manufacturing not only uses a non-destructive probe station, but also needs to use another set of laser annealing equipment. If the non-destructive probe station is used to find the problem, then the laser annealer is the tool used to solve the problem. It has high precision and can easily eliminate unstable factors in quantum chips, thereby ensuring the production of quantum chips. What needs to be known is that both the non-destructive probe station and the laser annealing instrument are independently developed by Benyuan Quantum, and they have a high degree of adaptability when used in the production line. Benyuan Quantum has also developed the quantum chip design industrial software QEDA Benyuan Kuanyuan. Through self-research, Origin Quantum has basically mastered the world's leading quantum chip manufacturing capabilities, and the time has finally come. Quantum chips currently do not have the same coverage as electronic chips, and have not formed a mainstream market trend. In fact, it can be understood that electronic chips are the chip technology with the highest degree of adaptation and the most complete technology in human history and have rich industrial chain advantages. Many industry giants specially develop software and hardware products for electronic chips and have gained great recognition in the consumer market. In terms of ecology, Quantum chips are not yet the opponents of electronic chips. But from the perspective of industry prospects, quantum chips cannot be underestimated. On the one hand, the computing speed of quantum chips is higher, and on the other hand, it helps to open up the development route of chips. Many people are curious, is it necessary to invest a lot in research? and development for a quantum chip that cannot be applied on a large scale in the short term. In other words, is it possible to become a mainstream technology in the next 10 or 20 years, and is it worth exploring vigorously now? It can only be said that everything needs to be prepared for a rainy day, just as American technology companies developed chips and invented transistors decades ago. Up to now, the United States still holds the core discourse power in the chip industry because it has the vision of planning in advance and has an advantage in the starting time. Quantum chips are the beginning of the future and the prospect may not necessarily be measured by time. The key is that the most important thing about quantum chips is to improve the overall level of quantum computing. Scientific research institutions and technology giants in various countries are successively developing quantum computing technology, launching their own quantum computer prototypes, and vying for the high ground of quantum technology. There are not many countries that can actually realize the mass production of quantum chips. China is the source of quantum to complete this goal which is equivalent to accumulating the foundation for the industrialization process of China's quantum computing field and helping domestic quantum computing to seize the international opportunity.